All right, welcome guys. Today's video, we're over here at Kokoot. And as you can see, the ocean is right behind me. Anyway, we're not gonna stay on the beach. I'm gonna do something a little different for this video. I'm gonna go have some fun. We're gonna jump on the motorcycle and we're gonna go into the inner part of the island. Kokoot is pretty undeveloped. It uh, gets jungle really, really fast around here. So we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the Maka, Makayai and the Sai Yai or whatever they're called. We're gonna go look at a 500 and a 200 year old, uh, like a tamarind tree and a banyan tree out in the jungle. So uh, this should be pretty cool because uh, you get to go and you get to see a little bit of what this island looks like. So uh, let's go take a look. This is what most of the little towns and stuff look like. There's not a whole lot here. It's a really, really quiet island. But even with it being quiet, they still have all the political campaigns posters up and stuff like that. So we're gonna wind up eventually out in the jungle. So the way to come here and see this is to definitely jump on a motorcycle. It's uh, a little bit away from all the hotels and everything. The main road on the island is pretty decent. They've done a nice job with keeping it up. There are a couple places where it's pretty windy and pretty steep, but generally it's not bad at all. It's just like this. And there's not many people on the island, so the traffic is pretty minimal. The main thing you gotta watch out for is like coconuts that have fallen on the road, dogs and uh, monkeys that may run out in front of you. Other than that, uh, it's not bad at all. Okay, that's the sign we're looking for, is the big Orimasia. Now it's halfway between like uh, Kong Jiao and uh, Ban Solat. And we're just gonna go up into the jungle, just like this. And eventually this paved road will run out and we'll get on a dirt road. So you can see the road is still quite nice here, but look at this jungle. Yeah, Kokut, the interior of it is just all of this. So that's why there's not a whole lot of development on the island. It's just, it's really, really formidable jungle. But they get some of the most rain in anywhere in Thailand on this island. It's the same weather pattern basically as Koh Chang because it's uh, just a little bit further to the east than Koh Chang. We're almost on the Cambodian border here. We're on the maritime border, but we're almost all the way to Cambodia. You can see these trees. And then we got somebody's, somebody's house out here. And just keep following the signs. There are quite a few rubber trees. Most of this island, that anywhere there's people, they've replaced the native vegetation with these rubber trees. You'll see lots of banana trees and coconuts also. You can see here, this is all rubber. So a lot of this old forest has been cut down. In fact, probably the majority of it to be replaced with these uh, rubber trees. They also grow quite a few mangoes and durian on this island. Okay, so this is the little scooter that we were on. So we made it down to the end of the road here. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna hike up and we're gonna see the Saiyai, which is the big banyan tree. And you can see we just follow these little roots right here. And first thing you see is check out all these vines. Where's Tarzan when you need him? <laughs> Holy cow. 
and then right up ahead of here. Now it's tough to see and appreciate the full size of this tree just because you're surrounded by so many other trees that are gigantic, but this is amazing. So here is the big, huge banyan tree. This is, uh, they estimate around 200 or so years old and people have came and put like little shrines and stuff like you can see here and they've uh, done some other things over there but this is the the tree and you can't even see the top of it it is just colossal and these roots are just super gnarly look at these so look at this this is just amazing. So this is part of the tree that comes down here. Now, whenever I first saw this, the first thing that came to my head was the temple that I went to in Cambodia. The one where they uh, filmed like Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie. They have these banyan trees growing on the side of the temple walls. And they, uh, they're just absolutely amazing. They've taken over the whole sides of buildings and the roots are growing through the windows. And uh, just look at this thing though. You can see that there's like ferns growing up there. I have no idea how tall it is. Can't even see the top. I can see those branches up there, but it goes up above that. This is absolutely amazing. So just to give you an idea how big this tree is. That's Bun standing right there. And you just, it's completely dwarfed. It's amazing. She's a big person, but uh, the tree is just a little bit bigger. She's not even as tall as the main root coming out of the tree. You see how hollow this is? It's kind of interesting. And then these big, huge, gnarly roots. Okay, so this one is the banyan tree. And now let's go look at the, uh, the really, really old one. Still fantastic here. And you're out here at the jungle, so all you hear are the insects and the birds calling. And you see these other trees are quite large, but nothing compared to that big uh, Saiyai or that huge banyan tree. Now the trail to here is pretty easy to get down. It's just a short walk off the dirt trail to this one. Let's go back and uh, we'll get on the motorcycle and then we'll ride down. It's uh, maybe two kilometers or so from here to that second tree that I want to see. You can see out here there's a big huge termite mound and it's just all part of this banyan tree. That's uh, just amazing. All these roots. Now I think the root system is pretty shallow. Okay, so the nice road is running out and we're back on the dirt trail here again. This is the longest stretch of dirt road right here. Probably a little bit treacherous in the rain, but today it's not bad. Okay, so they've wrapped the trees here. This kind of shows you that you're getting close to the big one. Uh, like the Buddhist, like the monk's robes. Okay, so here we are. Here's the Makia Yai. So it's an easy 50 meters into the jungle. And they've marked him again here with all these orange robes. And this jungle is just absolutely amazing. And you can't even see, but we're really close to a giant tree, but the jungle is just so thick here.
You see the roots, these vines. Yeah, if this was a rainy, this soil is a little bit like slick with this clay. I've taken a few tumbles. Yeah, so we're really close here. I have a sign there. Now this is, I believe, a tamarind tree. The makia has like the tamarind and then the yai is like a, a monster that like eats the moon. But here is the tree. And it is colossal again. Just another one of these massive, huge trees. Wow. And they've wrapped it also. Now the Thais believe that these old trees like this have spirits in them. So that's why you see them when they wrap them. But you can't even see the whole thing again. So this is a nice look at it from right here. Now I've been to the Redwood National Forest and the Redwoods are at another level. But for Thailand, this is pretty stinking cool. If you'd say stinking cool is a good way to describe it. It is pretty nice. Yeah, and they've wrapped it around here. So the Thais will come and they'll, uh, they'll uh, pray and do this stuff because they believe, like I said, there's a, uh, a spirit that will live in these trees. And this is an expensive tree. That's why there's not too many of them left. They've cut them down and they've used them for the wood. So this is one of the survivors. You can see there's vines growing right here. Now, you see this white stuff right here? And there's a couple different places that they've done it. But what the Thais will do, and I've seen them do it at a temple where they've, when they have one of these old trees there, they'll put the powder on the tree and then they'll rub it and it'll display some numbers and then they'll go and they'll buy a lottery ticket for those numbers. You can see they've done it in several places. And I've seen people do it and you can see numbers in the, uh, in the tree when you do that. I don't think it's gonna help you win, but you can, uh, you can see different stuff whenever you do that. And you can see all these roots here. They're not as impressive the roots as at that uh, banyan tree, but still pretty cool. Kind of interesting though how these vines have just kind of incorporated themselves on the tree. The symbiotic relationship they have. Well, it looks like we have some more people who came down to see this tree. All right, guys, that's going to finish up a pretty simple video. Come out here and see. This was just a fun video for me because uh, these trees are really cool. And you get to see a little bit about the inside of uh, Kokut Island just to kind of see how, uh, how much this is jungle. Anyway, this is a lot of fun. It's easy enough to do. Just take you uh, 20, 30 minutes or so of your day. And it's a nice break from the beaches. For me, I don't want to stay on the beach all day. So uh, go do something like this is a lot of fun. Plus you get to just see a little bit of the nature. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. This is what I do. I just go show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. And if you like that, then definitely uh, stick around, subscribe and comment. Tell me what you think. And until next time, from over here on Kokud. Remember, life is a journey. So enjoy.